Not playing an invisible violin. Instead, his whole body has become a musical instrument. Ben Knapp is wired to a device called a Biomuse. It takes the signals from my muscles, which you can see right here. There are little armbands that sit on my muscles. And it takes the signals, sends it to the Biomuse, and it converts it or translates it into signals that the uh, synthesizers, any standard synthesizer, will understand. And by relaxing and emitting alpha waves from his brain, Knapp can create the sound of a glockenspiel. Biomuse is the brainchild of Dr. Hugh Lusted, a researcher in the Stanford School of Medicine. Ben and I actually had a common interest in, in that we're both uh, musicians, and uh, he's in electrical engineering and I'm in neuroscience, and we sort of came together and and realized that we could actually make a new type of uh, music controller. Um, personally, myself, I've always been intrigued by uh, the natural music of the body, and I thought it would be fun to be able to actually listen to that. It has taken two years and some $10,000 to reach this point, but the developers say the applications are more far-reaching than merely making a new form of music. Dr. Lusted says the Biomuse could open up a whole new world to the disabled. You could, for instance, use this same technology to um, talk to or to communicate with a personal computer. Um, I suppose you could have a voice output device and uh, do that as well. All of these, of course, the software needs to be written. We haven't done that yet, but these things are feasible. For now, it may not be beautiful music, but it adds a whole new meaning to the phrase one man band. At Stanford University, Lloyd LaQuesta for the 10 o'clock news.